big fish. Be wise, dude. Wakasagi branch. Doing the damage. Big. Well, it's yellow season, and it's been a really good one uh, for me this year so far. I've had about four or five sessions. And yeah, landing like, like good numbers of fish and, and some really big fish as well, along with a few cod mixed in with them as bycatch. So, which are always a welcome surprise on the light spin gear. Um, definitely puts a bend in the rod. So, but yeah, today no different. Just planning on getting up the dam. It's 10 to 1 now, so it should be up there in the next half an hour. Just going through the black spur, so not too far away. And um, yeah, just work the banks and the rocky points with a few treetops. Uh, just fishing three inch plastics just little paddle tails and just hopping them back along the bottom um, like you would for brim, same technique and uh, yeah hopefully find a few. It should be good the way the, the weather's sort of shaping up. Um, today it's been like the other the other sessions I've had this year where it's been hot, humid, sticky, sunny um, but we during the day but we've got a, a storm front rolling through a bit later and as that front you know starts to roll through the fish have just gone you know they've been biting off their heads so yeah hopefully today's no difference now i've said that i have probably jinxed myself but you know i should be able to find a couple and um yeah show you what it's all about Wind's pretty average today, cruising around, throwing plastics at the bank, and that's the first one. First one for the morning, or the arvo, I should say. Not a bad fish. There you are, Deuce. Good fish. I don't know, maybe 50 something in his 50s. Oh, shit, he's gone. Yeah, boy. Not a bad little point this one here of um cruising around in this little bay winds up and uh had the 360 and as i came in i seen a heap of fish sitting on on the, these trees just out the front and off this point that's a fish down there pulled up and i've had two three casts and got two fish so they're pretty good fish get him out and on the biwa, the little biwa juice, three inch. Well, look at the 
winds up as you can see that's in there a little three inch lure plastic There you go, another nice healthy yellow, yield on yellow. I don't know, probably you know low 50s, low to mid 50s thereabouts. So, I and mean, good neck, a real good neck. I can't get enough of the little three-inch plastic just hopping along the banks off the points and off the trees. We'll get him back. Another healthy yield on yellow. It's hard work on your own getting getting all this, but. He's spoofing everywhere, so he's obviously in a good good mood and doing some some nasty things down there. But I'll get him back. Go oh. on. This is sick. Almost lost me net. Almost time for a new one, but that's three fish so far on the one plastic. It's on the old Wakasagi. It's not me go-to, me go-to is, I think it's called Bronze AU, but I've, I've run out of them from last trip. So at the moment, it doesn't seem to matter. Still getting some good fish. Good condition, real fat. Good condition. We'll, um, we'll get him back. Oh. Oh. Go on, straight down. Our little biwa. Oh, he's got me, he's had me buried in the snag, this one. Still, come on, he's, I can see him, he's on the snag. Here he comes, here he comes. Just picked up a few schools on these trees, just out here, just sitting on the 360 on the hummingbird. I've got a good one here. It's only just looked. Oh. That's a proper one. That is a big fish. That is a good Ilden Yellow. He's only just hooked. We'll give you a look at him. Oh, that hook is just popped out. Three inch juice. Yellow. Here he is. That's a proper one. He'd be high 50s, I don't know. Not quite 60, but or he might be, he's fat, but I'm not even going to measure him, I just put him back. But he's a chunk of a yellow. On the BY Juice 3 inch in Wakasagi. As I said before, it's not my go to, but I think it's fastly becoming my go to. It's on the 702L. It's a big fish. It's a good, good fish. That's him there. He's a chunk. He's a good fat, good condition fish. You can see the treetops behind me, just the, the spindly stuff. I don't know, they seem to like that spindly stuff. They're sitting pretty high up in the water. 
Nope, he's gone. Nah, got him. He wants to go. He wants to go. There he goes. Come on, buddy. There he goes. How cool is that? How cool is that? I've escaped the wind. I'm up one of these back bays and there's a storm rolling thing. I think there's a storm back home in Melbourne or you know there's a lot of rain and wind and I've just been having a duck out for a few hours and you know get up one of these back bays where it's pretty calm, no wind and uh, and bang a few. I think that's four or five now so it's only been here half hour or so. It's, um, it's pretty good, it's a good bite window. It's been a pretty good arvo. I've only been here half hour, 40 minutes or so and picked up four or five fish pretty quickly. I've just sort of cruised into this bay, get out of the wind as it's blowing a gale out in the main arm there and it's pretty calm, pretty pretty nice in here. A few treetops and came in with the Humminbird 360. And as soon as they came in, uh, second or third tree in, there's just a big school of fish sitting on the tree and then it sort of they moved out towards the bank and that point that I was that I was fishing just before and yeah I think second or third cast got one and then yeah picked up a few more um, I'll just quickly run through the setup that I've been using uh, for these yield and yellows or really yellows in general I, I, I just I, I like to keep it simple and um, yeah fish lock I am for brim same technique so just here you're running a little three inch juice BY paddle tail um, plenty of action in it as you can see it's got that nice thick oversized um, like tail at the back there and, and, and she swims. So on that drop, it falls pretty naturally and yeah, plenty of action there. So you don't really have to, um, you know, put too much rod action into it to get to get that to swim. Like she is super subtle and the yellows can't, you know, can't get enough of it. Today it's, or in this arm, it's pretty, pretty, uh, not much wind. So I've been running just a 112th jig head. 112th jig head fishing in about sort of four to five meters of water thereabouts. And, um, you know, just like hopping it back nice and slow. And pair that up with the old ones micro 702L, um, four to eight pound, two to four kilo. You know, that, that's my favorite rod for this type of fishing. And um, yeah, plenty of uh, plenty of sensitivity in the tip there. So especially on the drop when, those, when that, that lure's swimming down. Um, is when you get majority of the bites or when it's on the bottom. It's not getting really many bites when you're moving it or slow rolling. It's all on the drop, the pause, um, and off the bottom. So, you know, that light tip there, you get that light little tick or that little, um, that pluck in the line and you can set the hook and, and set those hooks in. So, nah, she's, uh, she's a good combo. She's a good outfit. And, yeah, it's not the, not the one that I'd normally put on. It's normally put that bronze AU on. Nah, that's my, that's my go-to fave, but ran out of them. It's been pretty red hot up here the last few weeks. Had a session up here the other week. Again, in an afternoon, picked up yeah, quite a large number of fish and yeah, ran out of plastic. So I've got this one and yeah, as I said, got four or five already and it's just, it's the same plastic, haven't had to swap yet. And I reckon I can get another one or two out of it before she's, uh, before she's cactus. So yeah, check them out, real good. Big fish, this is big. This is a giant. It'd be six, it's well over 60. Well over 60. Oh. That's big. That's big. It's got the BY juice down there. Wakasagi. He's killing it today. It's the only one I've used. It is big. He'd be it'd have to be 65. It's close to it anyway. Have to be. Sixty-six centimeters of Eildon gold, big fish, BY Deuce, Wakasagi, three inch. 
doing the damage. Big. Same just sitting down here under the boat. It's awesome, awesome. It's like a, something half decent, a bit of a cod or something. I'd say a cod. I reckon that's a cod off that tree. Booked another cod on the Biwa, fishing for yellows. And I don't know if he's got me in something. It's got to be a cod. Here he yep. I'm just working these points in these bays. You probably can't see them at the moment. And um, been picking up a few yellows. And then this has come along. Oh yeah, it's a good fish. He's a fucking good fish. He's a good fish. I don't know, be in his 80s, 85 or something. Got to manage this now. I haven't got a cod net or anything. Let's get the yellow net. That's a good one. Oh, that's right. That is a... Far out, that's a good fish. On that gear, I'll get him out. I'll get him out. No, he's just pinned in the side. All of them, are, for some reason, pinned, pinned in the side. He's a good fish. Yeah, they all... Pinned in the side of the mouth. Look at that. Look at that. It's a, it's a healthy cod. Healthy, right in the corner of the mouth. You're lucky. Because if it goes down, you're in trouble. But here's a chunk. Let me get this hook out, put him back in the water for a little bit, and figure out what I'm going to do. He's in there. It's not coming out. There you go. There you go, just on that, he's destroyed that. BY Deuce, three inch, Wakasagi. There you go, that's what's been getting them. As I said earlier on, that weather's changed. It was a bit stormy, a bit rainy before. Sun's out now, it's hot again. No doubt it'll go back to rain and storm again or something a bit later because that still hasn't come through that front, but. He's a good fish. Well, just got this nice cod. I don't know how big he is. I haven't, as I've measured him, I've just had him sitting in the net, trying to get it ready. But he fishing for yellows on the light stuff. The one's micro 702. It's four to eight pound. But check it out. He's a good fish. I don't know how big he is. He's got a mouth's a bit weird, a bit funny, but he'd be in his high 80s for sure. So, but I'll get a measure on him soon and get him back in the drink. But yeah, check that. And quite a few of these now. Fishing for yellows. So, yeah, it's a bit of fun. But yeah, a little BY juice, three inch. It's deadly on everything. Check it out, he is a chunk. Let me get some photos and I'll uh, I'll put him back. Oh. Here he is. 86. 86 centimeters. A building cod. Oh, he's ready to go on a yellow gear. Look at him, he's a good fish. He's ready to go. Here we go. 
scenery, guys. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. That's awesome. It's getting quite common now, catching these cod doing this, so you really don't know what you're gonna catch. But um, I don't know, I don't know. I'm just, that was a good fish. Good fish on that gear. <sighs> Fuck yeah, Biwa, get on them. Unfortunately, didn't get the, the big one. Well, I didn't get much of it on, on, on the film because I thought I'd press record, but I hadn't. So, dickhead. on the yellow gear. That storm's coming. She's dark. It's not gonna be good, I don't think. It's gonna fucking hammer down. Make a bit of a move. See what happens if it passes quick or if it's here to stay, but yeah, she's dark, real dark. get much better than that days up the dam um, ended up with 12 or 15 yellow something thereabouts one beast that went 66 um, and all the others were around that sort of mid to high 50s maybe 60 I didn't, didn't measure them just measured that big one and 
got three cod as well while on the small on the light stuff so it was pretty cool one around 70 75 again didn't measure him and then got one at 86 and got a 101 um yeah which was awesome unfortunately didn't get the the big one well, i didn't get much of it on, on on the film because i thought i'd press record but i had it so dickhead anyway is what it is but yeah it was a special one it's my first meter he uh on the light stuff anyway chasing yellows so she was pretty touch and go and pretty pretty tense for a while but yeah it was good to see it in the net especially because i didn't have a cod net just a yellow net and yeah the weather's been weird today too so on the way up it was you know sunny and hot and uh when we got up there a small front rolled through and she was cloudy overcast a little bit of rain here and there uh, picked up a few fish doing that and then that pushed through and it becomes sunny and hot again no wind um, picked up another couple and then um, yeah you could hear the thunder and and that brewing in the back in the, in the in the back and on the hills and jumped on the radar and yeah she looked pretty nasty so I decided to pack up and get out before it, uh, before it hit as soon as I got back to the ramp thunder lightning and uh, yeah, heavy rain, so I made the right decision and made the right call to get out of there. So, would have been good to stay up there, but you know, I'd had a pretty good day, so didn't need to catch any more. So, but um, yeah, look forward to the next trip and yeah, just throwing a few small three inch plastics along the bank and um, yeah, catching cod and yellows. It's amazing, it's amazing the size of the lure, you know, such small three inch plastic and um size of the fish that will eat that so like yeah you know you got a an 86 and a 101 today um on a small three inch plastic so they say elephants eat peanuts and yeah today proved that so yeah look forward to the next trip and um yeah be up there soon